Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Belinda here from Visualize NZ. I am seriously running out of time to get videos recorded and I have to say that there will be gaps. Um, I've got three days. This is one of those three days that I'm recording this um, to get videos done and I am not going to get them all covered for the time that I won't be able to record following my surgery or during my surgery, following my surgery and for a couple of weeks after that while I'm recovering uh, because I won't be able to sit at my desk. So I'm just going to get as much as I can done and please forgive the, the holes in the recording but I am super thrilled to say that my beautiful friend Lydia from February and June is going to do some videos for me so she's going to take care of my trash craft tuesday videos and put those up for you uh, she may fit in some others but i definitely do not expect that because she's got her own channel to look after and her own business so if you would love to to um, hop along to her channel and support her as well i would be extremely grateful because she is just the most beautiful soul extremely creative and just a wonderful, wonderful person. Uh, and that would be a huge favour to me if, if you could support her as well. So for today, I need to do my June journal. Um, I'm filming this on Sunday, so it's, I don't know, the 28th of May or something. Uh, so you'll probably be seeing it maybe when we're already in June. I don't know. I can't get my head around at the moment when I'm scheduling what... Um, I better explain what I'm doing first. So this is a file folder. I've wanted file folders for quite a while, but they're actually really expensive in the stationery stores. And I wasn't prepared to pay the price that they wanted. Um, and then I found some in a shop yesterday that was a pack of 10 for just under $4. I thought, that's my price range. So I bought a pack and I was pulled one out last night and I was just sort of thinking now what do I want to do with them and it was like it's the perfect size for a journal cover um, so I've glued the glued it together I've trimmed off the, the bit at the top that's the back of the file you know how it sticks out a bit more than the other side um, and I've creased it down the middle so I know where where I'm going to be folding it into my journal now, which way was it folding? That way? That way, I think, so I need to make sure. I'm not going to decorate the inside at this stage. I just want to get the outside done. Uh, so I've prepared it like that, and I'm going to paint it. But then I thought, I haven't played with modelling paste in such a long time. I really feel like playing with modelling paste. And my modelling paste is old. Hopefully it's... Seems okay. Still seems to be quite movable in the tube. Um, so let's go ahead and put some. And this stencil I'm using is one of my hand cut stencils. So I'm just going to put some of this down. And I will be recording this video in stages. Um, so I'll put this on. Then I'll pop you on pause while it dries. And then bring you back when I do the painting. Um, so hopefully... It dries quickly and I can just pop you on pause rather than stopping the video because if I stop the video then I've got to stitch all the bits together so I'm just gonna squeeze some on come on there we go I better shut it so it does stay workable oh there we go right and I'm just gonna push it through the stencil and give an slightly raised texture on the cover i thought this could be a bit fun because it's honestly years since i last pulled out the modeling paste i kind of forgot about it really um, i haven't had a, a burning desire or need to use it it's like yeah it's about time let's let's have a wee play a mixed media play if you don't have modeling paste you can um mix up something similar with ingredients that you have around the house i can't tell you what those are because i've never done it i've seen people do it i've seen videos on it but i've, I've just never done it um, so just search on youtube or on google or wherever you like 
and you'll come up with recipes on how to make your own modeling paste when I run out of this I probably will make it myself um, but a little bit goes a long way you know I've had this tube for years and I used to use it quite a lot when I was doing uh, regular art journaling so need a bit more and I just feel like in an abstract mood so I'm not going to do like a, an image or you know anything in particular for this cover I just want abstract and I want it to be happy because June is going to be a really interesting month for me with the surgery and everything so I want it to be something that gives me pleasure when I look at it that just makes me happy and brings a bit of sunshine to my day and encourages me to fill it in you know because I imagine I'm going to be quite tired um, for a bit with the effect of anesthetic and you know all those sort of considerations so I want it to be something that encourages me to work in it yes I love that I think that looks awesome right so for the back I'm going to actually do it the other way so upside down if you like And I don't need to do the back, I could leave the back, but I just feel like I want to. I've got it out, why not? So I'm going to need some more of this. It's like white worms or something, isn't it? So we're just smushing, and I'm just using a cheap plastic palette knife to get it into my stencil. Oops, I might have ended up with too much now. Oh well, we can always always do something else with it. I've actually got a new uh, stencil I hand cut. Or I punched actually, I didn't hand cut it. I punched it with a craft punch um, that I haven't used yet. So maybe I could add a bit of that one. Yes, I love that. I think that looks super cool. Okay, I'm going to grab out the other stencil. And this one I just punched with a single hole punch. And I did this for Patreon Mail for last month. Um, but I, this was my test one. So I, I did um, a few different designs for the Patreon one. Because um, I had to test that the punch would actually work on this quite thick plastic. And it did, as you can see. Um, so let's just put some dots around. Because why not? We might as well use up this modelling paste. Don't want to waste it. I could grab out some book page or something and put some. Okay, I'm not quite getting the circles filled in properly. Maybe if I smush it up. That's it. Smush it back the other way. Just some random dots for fun texture. And some down here on the front. So hopefully it doesn't take too long to dry. <laughs> we shall see. Right, that's looking pretty good. I don't want any anywhere else. Maybe just some up here. So I've still got plenty. Oops, get in there. There we go. And then I'll have to clean up these stencils as well off camera so it doesn't harden and go yucky.
Oops. I'll leave it there so you can you can just wipe it off if you get it where you look. This is a mess I'm in. I am wearing my grubby hoodie so that I didn't get my good one yucky. Um, yeah, so if you get it in places that you don't want it, you can just scrape it off or wipe it off before it hardens. Uh, give it a wee clean up here and there if you so desire. Right, is that done? Oops, I put a bit smushed there too. Oh, I don't think it's going to take too long to dry because that is already drying that bit. It was a thin bit though. Um, I'm thinking maybe I want just a few in here if I can get it in there without upsetting anything just a few yep I like that okay I'm gonna pop that aside to dry and I'm just going to use up this leftover modeling paste and I need to leave the wet wipe out because I'm getting covered in the stuff um, so what would I like I think book page I'm just trying to grab for a book. This will do. Oops. Very badly torn out. But never mind. You can tidy that up later. I like the random, you know, rather than the pattern. I think the pattern will be really good to stencil through for um, borders and things like that. But I love love random, and that's what I'm after. You know, I've got a cat here in there. Let's get rid of that. make fun um, collage fodder once it's all painted or inked or something colored I guess colored up be fun and when you're doing this you don't need to make sure that it's perfect through the stencil it doesn't matter if there are gaps missing uh, you know how I was making sure that I had it all nice on the cover you don't actually need to do that it depends what you effect you want if you want abstract and random then imperfections are just part of the look and really fun you know they add add that um just ice i guess slightly grungy look almost or you know adds to the randomness when they're not perfect so we're almost done here Right, I think that's pretty good. So, pop that aside to dry. Right, I'll pop you on pause, I'll do a clean up, and then I'll come back and check how dry they are and uh, bring you back on when I'm ready to paint. Okay, for you, it'll be just the blink of an eye. See you soon. And I'm back. It didn't actually take very long at all for the modeling paste to dry. The dots are possibly slightly uh, not dry yet uh, but they're good enough to touch and I think let's just get on with it if they disintegrate well doesn't matter okay so for paint from the same place that I bought the file folders they had this um, orange sherbet fluorescent paint on clearance for a dollar a tube so I bought a couple of tubes I didn't know what the quality was like or anything but it's actually not bad I've given it a test run so I'm going to use fluoro orange because I want this to be bright and happy, as I was saying earlier. I've also got some uh, yellow house paint 
and I've got some white and I've got blue as well but I just need to be careful that I don't end up with brown if I mix the orange and the blue um, so I've got no real plan here I'm just going to go for it and I've also got a bit of um, light car washing sponge or kitchen sponge or something that I've hacked into cubes so I've got a bit of that I'm going to use as well and get rid of the ever-present cat fur it just seems to gravitate to whatever I'm doing probably because it's all over me so I'm going to first up put some of this yellow in my pottle lid here as a little palette so I can dip the sponge in not sure how much I'll need that'll do for now And I'm going to just squeeze out some of the orange. Oh, I've already got it on me. Gosh, that didn't take long, did it? Um, squeeze out some of the orange directly onto the file folder. And just kind of, I don't know, wherever it lands. We'll try that for a start. Now, do I want to use a sponge? Yeah, I'm going to use a sponge. Let's just... We can always grab a brush and add a brush if we want to. Isn't it beautiful and vibrant? Like, how can that not be happy? I mean, I guess if you hate orange, then it... Oops. Gosh. I'm a messy pup. Um, then maybe it's not a happy colour for you. But, like... Immediately, I can just feel my spirits lift. Also, probably because I'm playing. I'm playing with paint. I'm getting messy. Right, now let's go in with some yellow. And smush that around. Get it to blend a little bit in places. which I'm just using the same part of the sponge, so it's already blending on the sponge anyway. Just got a little bit of something there. Get rid of that. So, how are you guys today? I hope you're all well and happy and being creative. Because being creative is just the best. I am not looking forward to having a period where I can't do much. Like, that's possibly the worst part of all. Um, I'll probably end up doing something like colouring, adult colouring or something like that. That's, you know, easy to pop on my knee and do from the couch or whatever. Um, but I can't imagine I'm going to do sort of anything in the journaling vein for a bit. Because I just need too much stuff for that and... While I've got to keep my leg elevated for inflammation and stuff after surgery, I just cannot sit at my desk. So, oh, sad times. What does a crafter do when they can't craft? If you've got any ideas of things that I can do while I'm laid up, throw them at me, please. Like, give me a few tips. What would you do if you found yourself, you know, in where you're brain once the anesthetic clears your brain's you know not too bad you can think and things like that but you can't do your normal crafting at your normal place throw me some ideas guys go for it i'd love to hear what you would do or what you think i should do or could do yeah go for it guys flood flood the comments with ideas i'd love to read them all and might even be able to do some of them that would be cool wouldn't it because at the moment my brain is not functioning so well <laughs> i'm still just like all over the place and i was talking to my mum yesterday because we're staying at my mum's place and um for a, a couple of nights before the surgery and she was like oh you know what do you need what and it's like i just my brain so just not there. Okay, I just want to clean up my mat there where I got off the paper. Because I'm getting a bit slap happy. Right. Okay. Oh, 
okay i think i want a bit more orange just, i'm just gonna layer up layer it up until i love it i mean i actually already like it i like the way the paints are blending i think it's looking super and i've only used two colors like let's get some of that sponge texture in there too Not sure if I want the white around the dots, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to do more after the paint's dry, so this isn't the final sort of stage. I want to you know, do some doodling or some mark making or something. Not entirely sure yet. Right, and I feel like I want some white just to give a bit of, um, I don't know, relief or something. And then I'm not sure about the blue. I think I would wait until this was dry before adding blue. Just to avoid any potential uh, muddiness. Because I don't want a muddy cover. So let's pour a little bit of this out on my palette. And it's it'll mix with the yellow and that's okay. This one's quite thick. So maybe it won't mix. Oops, there's a goober on the side of the bottle there. These are all just in like cream bottles, these paints, which is actually very handy until the lid um, cracks and you don't realise it and then you shake it to mix up the paint and you end up wearing it. Yeah, that might be experience talking. Mm-hmm, it has happened. That's why I'm wearing my grubby hoodie because that, it wasn't a grubby hoodie. Um, originally, I was shaking a bottle of paint in a cream bottle didn't realize that was the lid was cracked and ended up wearing it all down the front of my hoodie so it became my painty hoodie because there was no getting that and it's green green paint now it's got all sorts of other colors added to it and the worst thing was i was at work when it happened because i was working as um one of the owners of an art collective and I was stuck there all day with the public coming in with this big streaks of green paint down my hoodie. <laughs> it was funny though. I could only see the funny side. I wasn't upset. It was just a cheap hoodie I got on sale for like five bucks or something. It wasn't the end of the world. And I just laughed like, you know, what can you do? And I was actually talking to someone at the same time as it happened too. A customer. And... um <laughs> Yeah, it was just hilarious. Like it's one of those things you just happened. Yeah, I like that white there. Just just brings in a little lightness and relief from the strong colours. I really like what's happened down this side actually on the back. It's a sort of mm, I don't know, cloudy effect. Really like that. See if I can do a do a similar thing on this side. Just playing. Oh, I, I'm loving this. I think I'm going to define the um the modeling paste bits i think sort of maybe outline them or something um we'll see we'll see how it develops oops a little bit of black fluff or something there right what do you reckon guys you think it's about time i stop fiddling because i'm actually thinking that's looking pretty darn good pretty happy okay so again i've got leftover paint here on my palette so i'm going to pop this aside this is like a two project in one kind of thing and we've got our book page here that i added the leftover modeling paste to so let's just use up whatever paints on our palette and try not to add any more 
to it and just smush it around here. Oops, something squeaking. Don't know what's squeaking. Maybe my disc needs an oil. My disc's got a metal frame. A glass top and a metal frame. That's why I've got these blue mats down because it's glass on top. And if I didn't, then the, the ring light that I've got above the camera would just put a glare all over. And you would be able to see under the desk too where I drop all the stuff and my legs and my vib vibration board. And it's like, you don't need to see all that junk. Just keep it focused on the desk. Right, so we're almost finished using up all that paint. So I ran out of, oh no, there's still a bit of orange in the sponge. Let's get some more of that orange on there. Look at that. That's, just give that a rinse off and she's all good for the next time. Okay, still getting a bit of orange off, so that's good. Add a bit of that. Okay, there we go. We have a fun bit of collage fodder as well now. And we could doodle on that as well. But we might not have time in the video. I can do that any time. I'm just cleaning up my fingers, getting rid of some of the paint on it. Right, they can go to be cleaned. This can go to the side to dry. Up the top of my desk there. Um, so, to add blue or not to add blue? That is the question. Hmm. I'm really not sure. I like the idea of blue, but I don't want to wreck what I've already got. Um, and that's often my dilemma is I don't take things further because I'm, I like it how it is, which isn't a bad thing. Um, the other option is to just use Posca pen to add blue, which would be more um, controlled and defined. Or we could add some blue paint splotches. I don't know. Oh, I can't make up my mind. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it as is. It's not dry yet anyway to add blue um, or add anything else. I need to let it dry properly and thoroughly. Um, so I guess it's back on pause and I'll catch up with you again once it's dry. Hopefully not too long. For you, it'll just be, again, another blink of the eye. Catch you in a minute. And we're back. It's lost most of its tackiness, which tells me that it's pretty dry uh, I don't think it's a hundred percent but I'm going to crack on with the next stage and I'm still really undecided on which way I wanted to go so I'm just going to to go for it and not try to worry about whether it's what I want or not um, so I've grabbed out some Poscas I've grabbed out some cheap other markers and I've grabbed out a black pit pen I wasn't sure about using black on it. I thought it might be too harsh, too much of a contrast. But in terms of adding smaller details, I don't have much of an option. Uh, black or maybe white, a white Posca. I've got a fine white Posca. Um, Sharpies I do not use on top of acrylic paint because it tends to kill them. And I've lost too many Sharpies to keep trying that. So I'm avoiding the Sharpies. Otherwise they would be the perfect answer. Um, so I don't know. I guess I'm just going to go in and start doing something. So I'm going to start with Ruby Red. I know I talked about blue. And I've got two blue Poscas here as well. There's a metallic and just a sky blue. Yep, sky blue. Um, sorry if that shaking... I'll do it a bit further away. <laughs> it was annoying you. 
and I'm kind of, mm, I'm just so undecided. Maybe I'll just start by colouring in the tops of these, or maybe some of them, maybe not all, um, of these dots that we did through the stencil. So yeah, I'm just having awful trouble deciding which way I wanted to go with this. And because I really do like it as is, but I felt it did need something. But I don't want to ruin it. And that's the problem when you love something, you feel that fear of that you whatever you do is going to just destroy what you've already got. And I have trouble moving past that at the best of times. Um... I guess the only thing for it is just to feel the fear and do it anyway. It's a great saying that. A bit cliche, I guess, now. Um, but it's it can be true. It's like, feel the fear and do it anyway. Because you'll never know. And if you ruin it, well, is it really ruined? Because you can just keep adding things and turn it into something just as wonderful. Or even more wonderful. So there's the philosophy for today's video. Just adding, I do love this colour. I think it's such a pretty colour. Uh, dark red is my favourite colour though. So, you know, no surprises that I love this. Just randomly colouring in some of these raised dots okay how's it looking thinking maybe I'll go in with the metallic blue and do some more dots I'm have a, have a feeling I may end up coloring in all the dots it's like, once you start, where do you stop? I just love this metallic blue. It's so pretty. I, yeah, I'm definitely liking the blue. I think it just, again, just brings a, a little bit of something. I don't know what it is. Depth or interest, contrast. Something. Oh, it's making my eyes happy. I'm so enjoying having uh, Poscas available uh, because for the longest time I had uh, white and then a couple of other colours. I think I had three in total, two white ones and a couple of colours. It's like now I've got two whites and two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven colours, which is so awesome. And they now live on my desk. Instead of living in a drawer, they live on my desk, so I actually pull from them more often, which is fun as well. Because, you know, you don't buy supplies, well... We, it's true, we actually do buy supplies and then have them sitting around not doing anything. But really, we buy supplies to use them. So we should just use them, shouldn't we? Okay, loving that. I think that's really cool. Um, maybe this one here. I am thinking I need a third colour and we'll just do all the dots because it's it's making me happy. Um, do we want to use some black? I don't have a black Posca actually, so I'm going to use this cheap marker because it works quite well. Just a water-based marker um, from a cheap shop. 
because I'm thinking if I do black on these uh, flowy lines then you want to sort of bring it across not just have black in one place because it is quite a strong colour as we know it can be quite harsh And I'm thinking maybe I've got one more circle here that I'll do it in the red. There we go, so over in the middle here. It's interesting working with the texture of the modelling paste. So that one got a bit, yeah, it was just a little fragment of modelling paste that had broken loose. So that's all right. So I'm just working very lightly on them too so that I don't go over the edge. Although that's really easy to happen if it does. Oh well. So be it. So I'm just trying to run my pens over top of the raised texture. So hubby's gone to church this morning. I'm recording this on Sunday morning. And I realised that at this stage of the game, with surgery in, what, five days? Um, I don't really want to be getting sick. Or, heaven forbid catch that horrible sea thing you know what I'm talking about um, so I'm just keeping away f basically from risk areas you know where people might be unwell or carrying something that I don't want to get just to be on the safe side fortunately it's like it's under a week and then it will be all over and it won't matter it's the same that one's a little bit of one on the edge there. And then there's just a little bit here, so I might hit that with the blue. Just on the edge. Okay, so we've done all our dots. And I'm pleased I did that. I think that actually looks fun. Yes, very happy. Now, I'm thinking about underlining underlining that's not what I mean outlining these wavy lines because I feel they they're a little bit lost at the moment like I can see them and if I didn't do anything you would still see them but I feel like they need a little bit of defining I just don't want to ruin it by adding a whole heap of black and regretting it I'm wondering do I want to add some metallic blue and actually go over top Shall I risk it? I'm going to risk it. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. So just being very careful to stick to the raised texture as much as possible. So just skimming lightly over that. Well, I like that. Um, I don't think I want to do all of them. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm so indecisive. But I do like that. It's really accenting them and it's so pretty in the metallic blue. Um, just switching it around so it's easier for me to work without putting my hand in wet paint. Because that's what Poscas are. They're acrylic paint in a pen form. So they need time to dry. Fortunately they don't take long. Which is great. Depending what sort of surface you put them on though. That does impact how long they take. And also turning it around. And there's more cat fur. Uh, allows you to see areas that you've missed. Because you're seeing it in a different light. In a different angle. So catching bits there that I've missed. 
doesn't have to be perfect. I'm telling myself this. It does not have to be perfect. Um, yeah, do I want to go up that way? Yeah, maybe this one. Oh, that sounds like there's a hoony car out on the main road. We're a block back from the main road. Um, but there's big, you know, boy racer type sounds coming from the main road. Uh, isn't this just the most beautiful colour, people? Don't you think? So sparkly and shiny and pretty. I wanted a regular blue when I bought this, but the shop I bought them from, it was when we were on holiday, didn't have any regular blue Poscas. They only had metallic, and I ummed and ahed for ages, and I thought, I'll just get a metallic one, because I didn't have any metallic ones. I tell you what, it was Providence. It's like I never would have had it otherwise and I wouldn't be enjoying it if I hadn't have just decided to go with it. Or if they had have had regular blue, I still wouldn't have a metallic. So I'm keen now at some point to get some more metallics because I think they're so pretty. Right. Happy with that. Um, I do think I need to do another one. I keep seeing edges where I haven't quite got. I'm being so perfectionist. Like, this is ridiculous. Keep fiddling around with it. Okay, so one out this way, I think. Do I want to do this one? This one? I think actually before I do that I want to do maybe this one so I hope you're enjoying this video it's something a little bit different uh, definitely quite labor intensive in terms of making the cover but oh, so much fun I feel a bit uh, almost guilty of taking so long fiddling around with this when I've got so much to do. But, you know, it's good to just breathe, to calm, to to art, to just art. This one, I think. So far, I have avoided putting my hand in it and transferring it somewhere I don't want it. So it's a good thing. Right, what do you think guys? Are we liking how it's going so far? My nose is starting to drop. Please excuse me for a moment. Naughty nose. Right. I'm feeling, I don't want to end up just doing the whole lot, but I'm feeling like I need to do this bit to, to kind of connect them, because at the moment they're separated, and I feel like they need to be, like there's a story flowing through. Now, if I did it in another colour, perhaps it might work okay. what I'm thinking is to go in and I've got this like the, I've got the cheap black one I've got a cheap blue marker do I want to just go in with this it's quite a you know deep blue um, and do the others in this instead I don't think I'll do the back I think I'll just leave the back as is um, otherwise this is going to take me forever so I'm just going to commit 
I could use the sky blue, but I'm just thinking the sky blue is quite different. Um, we'd be introducing, I mean, I'm introducing another tone here, but I think that this is closer to the black, so it kind of still works, whereas the sky blue is, you know, quite a different value. I don't know. I'm just making it up. I don't know what I'm talking about. Got this little streak down here. Perhaps I shouldn't have done this one because it's looking a bit, bit nothing-ish. But never mind, it's done now. I think the way it's looking, I'm going to end up painting or colouring all of these swirly lines. I can see that's how I seem to be going. It's like, I can't stop. I can't stop. And then I think doing this will help me decide whether I want this one in the metallic or not. And I can always go back in. So if I decide that I need a metallic somewhere else, I can go over top of this dark blue and add it in. It's not the end of the world. Whoops, I went off the line there because it was so thin. And then I did wonder about doing some splatters over the top as well. Still not sure about that either. It's like um, a flow of wind or water or something. I like the movement. The sense of movement is making me quite happy as well. Now I'm not going to cover this in tape or cover seal or anything because, you know, it's got a lot of texture going on um, and it wouldn't seal properly anyway. I'm not sure if I'll seal it with like Mod Podge or something. Um, I might just leave it and then see how it goes. And I'm not going to do the signature on video. I'll just do the, fit that into a spare moment in my day somewhere. Um... Because I've got other things I need to record. To try and cover oh, a couple of the gaps or a gap in my post-op time. So again, I will warn you that things could be out of order. If you see things out of order, please just go with it. Um, because I'm not sure when things are going to air. At this point in time, I'm just trying to get them recorded. Right, I'm going to do that in the blue. I'm leaving that one till last so I can look at it and decide which way to go. I don't even know how long this video is now since I've been starting and stopping. Oh, it's not too bad. Right, I think this one and this as well. I hope this isn't boring for you, watching me colour in things on the cover. I guess for me it's been a lot longer than it has been for you because I've popped you on pause in between. Otherwise this video would be quite long. And I didn't want to grab out my heat gun and dry it on camera because I know a lot of people don't like the noise. And then I'd have to work out how to plug it in and, you know, oh, just too much hassle. Especially when the fire's going and I knew it wouldn't take too long to just air dry in the warm room. I'm cooking a corned beef on the fire, on top of the fire today. That's going to sit there and simmer away all day, which will be lovely and tender by the time we come to have it tonight. And the house is going to smell amazing as it gets um, gets done. Got onion and carrots and cloves and peppercorns and mm, yum. 
Right, what do we reckon, people? Dark blue or metallic blue? And I see this one just needs a touch up here. There we go, that's better. Um, it's easier to go over this with this than go over this with this. If you understand what I was doing there. Um, come on, just make a decision. It's not the end of the world. Okay, let's... Uh, mm, okay, let's do it in metallic. Jumping in. Now, if I do do splatters, what colour splatters? I had thought to do them in blue, but it's a different blue again. Um, so is that something I really want to do? Or I could do white. I've still got the white paint out. I don't have black. Um, I've got the yellow or the orange. Don't think I want yellow splatters. The uh, blue I've got, the blue paint I've got on my desk is sort of a more tealy blue. So I don't think that would necessarily work with these other colours I've got going on. Okay, so I committed, I did it in metallic. And you know what? It looks lovely. I'm happy with that. I think it would have been fine either way, whichever way I decide to go. Overthinking is really something I do do a lot. <laughs> as much as I try not to. Okay, so that's going to be the cover. I probably want to put in the month. And I think I'm just going to do it in Posca. And do we want to just do it in the red? Let's just do it in the red. And maybe the year as well. Oops, there's cat fur and I think it's actually stuck into the paint. So it's there forever now. Just doing block lettering. And I haven't got room there for the year, so. June. What I can do is go in with the black. And just do a 20, 23. At the end there. Do I want to colour that in? Yes, I do. I feel like it needs just to stand out a little bit more. And then we're basically done with this. Still haven't decided on the paint splatters, which I possibly should have done before I wrote the date, uh, the month, if I was going to do it. Um... I'm not going to put glitter or anything because I'm not sure if it's going to be sealed and glitter will just rub off and go everywhere if it's not sort of sealed or under plastic. Okay. I want to do splatters. I just do. So let's do it and that'll be the final thing and then I'll call this video done. So let's just quickly grab out some white paint, add a bit of water, thin it down. Don't need a lot. That's probably quite sufficient. Probably 
probably easier to tip the water out, but. Now thinning it down so it's splatterable, if that's a word. Right, is it going to... And this kind of ties in with the, um, the texture paste dots as well. And I'm getting it on my desk. I'm going to have to do a clean up. It's going everywhere. Actually, I'll pull up the uh, page here that we did with the leftover paint. I'll just sit that up the top so it can perhaps get a few splatters on it as well. And it is. The finishing touch. Oops, there's a bit of dried paint off the bottle. Let's get rid of that. It's like um like water and water bubbles or air flow with bubbles. So we did end up with something of a little story going on there. Right. I think that's enough. I could keep going and then we'll end up with it all covered in white paint and it won't be an accent anymore it will be a full-on covered I'm just going to grab those bits that splattered on my desk before they dry everywhere god everywhere people it's the trouble with splattering is it does tend to go everywhere okay so there we go there is my cover for my june journal i'm looking forward to making it up fully into a journal and having it ready to go to document my surgery and recovery um, i imagine and i'm going to be writing a lot about that uh, so thanks for joining me today i hope you enjoyed it whatever day you actually get to see this i hope you're having a wonderful day take care everybody and hopefully i shall see you again soon okay take care bye